Sage Farms, all about God. Beautiful day on God's farms today. Just got done doing farm chores. Well, I still have a little bit to do. I gotta uh, pull the tractor down and fill up this 275 gallons of water and give everybody water as y'all saw. The pigs water is kind of low. We uh, water our pigs with 55 gallon barrels and we put a little hog nipple on there. And that seems to work pretty good because if we give the pigs just a little, little bowl uh, of water, they just knock it over, especially during the summertime when it's hot. <clears throat> you know, they want to get in there and wallow in there. And uh, but yeah, so we, we we give them those 55 gallon barrels of water. I just need to crank up the track and go down to the front of the property, way up there, down that big old long dirt road driveway, and uh, get that water filled up and then just you know fill up that water. We use a gravity fed water spotting system uh, because we're fully off grid back here still right now. We we have plans to go on grid, but once we get our power to the to the mobile home to Emma, and uh, then we'll run water lines back here. But for right now we just haul water. But yeah, this is an amazing day because we're going to put our trailer, our new trailer to use for the first time. And uh, this is one of the main reasons that we actually got it, actually bought it, is because uh, this trailer here is just not good for hauling and taking on the road anymore. It's just not safe, you know, to be hauling anything on it. And so uh, we're going to start using our new trailer. And the first time we're going to use it is today. We're just waiting on Megan to get back because uh, our side by side has been at the dealership for about what? It's been at the dealership for about two months. And it was broke down on the farm probably about two months. So our side by side, our UTV has been down about four months. And uh, today we're going to load up in the old F-250 diesel, old 2000 F-250 diesel, hook up to the trailer and go ahead and get it. We're going to wait for Megan to get here so she can, you know, go and enjoy the, the ride with us. It's probably about an hour drive. Everything around here is an hour drive. Me and Tim Jr. have a uh, saying, Tim, how far away is everything? One hour. One hour. <laughs> for real. Tim, how far away is Alaska from here? One hour. One hour. <laughs> for real. It's like everything we say is one hour. For real. Because everything, we're out in the middle of nowhere, so everything is about an hour away. <laughs> for real. You get to the grocery store, the laundromat, uh, the tire shop, one hour. <laughs> for real. But yeah, y'all, we're going today to pick we're going today to pick up our side by side. And uh we're looking forward to that. And we're gonna bring y'all along this journey with us. Like I said, we, we're gonna finish off these farm chores and around that time Megan should be pulling back up. She gets she gets gets home around one uh every day. And uh we're gonna load up and hook to the trailer, 
pick up our side by side and get on back to the farm. So y'all just join us. Let's let's go pick our side by side up. Let's do it. All right, y'all, I'm taking y'all suggestions. And we're getting rid of this old refrigerator. But I think the reason they didn't get it out of here because the door too small. And so I gotta take those handles off. I took some of the door apart and uh, I'm really gonna get rid of it today. So me and the boys are making bad decisions. The boys said the handles won't fit, so break them off. <laughs> He's gonna knock the handlebars off. Oh. <laughs> so so the, the next question is, is how do we get this refrigerator down these steps with just me? What do y'all think, boys? Y'all think we should be gentle with it? Or y'all think we should just push it out and let it fall? Yeah, push it out and let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall! Let it fall! Let it fall! Get out of my mobile home! I'm here! The boys have been waiting on me to arrive so that we can all go as a family and pick up the side by side. And I'm happy that they <laughs> waited on me. Sometimes I get to be a part of these fun little journeys that they go on. And today is one of those days. So we're going to pick up the side by side. No, I didn't know what he said. What did he say? Noah. Noah. But I'm very look 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 at what they're building. Look at what they're building. Okay, let's let's look a little bit more closely at what they're doing. So how'd you get the refrigerator out? Ever so gently. Ever so gently. Is that what Dad told you to say? No. That that sounds like a, uh, <laughs> a secret. Tell everybody. That sounds like something that was like given to them. To ever so gently. We got it out. That's all that matters. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something the boys came up with. Uh, yeah. Are you ready to go get this side by side? I'm ready. Yes. Let's do it. We're ready for ready. just gonna get bagged in and we're finally gonna get our side by side I remember when we first pulled in here yeah. in the same spot uh -huh. yeah maybe fun to look back at some of that video yeah for real all right All right, y'all, we just uh, let them know we're here and paid our money for the service. And they should be pulling our side by side out pretty soon. Like they probably gotta look for it, it been so long. Uh, shake the car wheels off of it. But yeah, they should be pulling out soon. Y'all excited, family? Yeah! <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, so we're looking forward to them pulling it from the back. There she is. There's our side by side. There it is.
we just had an amazing opportunity to pray with the uh, service person the uh, receptionist at the got gear it was just amazing um because we were just out here strapping down the side by side and we mentioned our youtube channel hey you know watch our youtube channel and um it was just amazing because we got to pray with them so. she literally while we were out here strapping up the the side by side she went in there and actually was watching it then mm -hmm. and came out in tears you know and asked for prayer yeah and it was an amazing opportunity you know just to share and pray right. and just, it's amazing yeah. and um it's, i'm still kind of like <laughs> i don't fully have words i'm just so just uh grateful to the lord for what he's doing with uh youtube and ig farms it truly is all about him you know and he can just work miracles and make connections and the fact that we get the honor of praying with someone that's just it means so much to us <laughs> It means so much to us and it means a lot to God, you know, it means a lot to him. Um, and we're just huh, over, over, huh, just overjoyed that the Lord would be able to use us and put us in the position to be used by him. Just doing the simplest things because it's not about the side by side. It's not about the side by side. It's about God. It's about, you know, being able to heal people, to touch people, to restore people, to speak to people and just um, encourage them. That's what this is about. And that's why we named it. It's all about God because it's not all about farming. It's not all about the side by side of the trailer or the truck or the tractor, or, you know, any of those things. It's really about opportunities to share about him. And we're just grateful that we got that opportunity just now. We've got everything loaded up and we're pulling on. Side by side, side <laughs> by side, side, side by side, 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 side by side. side. We got a side by side, side by side. Time to go mud ride. Oh yeah. Tim was just saying that um, he got it loaded up and the, he wasn't even like using the spring compression at all on the trailer. So. Uh, I was like, that's probably nothing. The trailer doesn't even feel like it's carrying anything with, with that weight. So we're very pleased, very excited to be able to have finally our side by side back. And we'll be excited to get back to the back roads of the country. Gotta get out of this city. Mm -hmm. We ain't for this city stuff no more. <laughs> I'm gonna panic. Truth. I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. Too much traffic. Ah! Too much traffic. Pause. What, what, what makes y'all panic about the other city, boys? All, all these people speeding down the road. Yeah, people speeding zooming around. The road. And the country folks respect the uh, 4F250 and the trailer. <laughs> and the city, they zoom around. Just finna get ran over. We'll pick y'all up at the farm. We'll show y'all unloading and riding around the farm a little bit on the side by side. So we'll pick y'all up when we get to the farm. What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no joints and everything you can smell kind of mm -hmm. but that, that's just normal <laughs> yeah so that's good need a good bath 
they some grease in all the joints. They little air in that tire there, but she's still riding good. Mm -hmm. Got a side by side back on the yep. farm. So I guess uh, we, should, we should kind of talk about as we end the video, kind of talk about what was wrong with it. Uh, so they said that the reason. He, <laughs> we didn't even get that on camera. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it just fell out the side by side. I guess you forgot you got to step down. Yeah, step down. But they said the reason that it wouldn't start is because there was a short in the rear tail, in the tail light. And uh, that short was causing a fuse to blow. And every time they replaced that flip fuse, it would blow because the tail light was uh, had a short in it. So they replaced the tail light and they replaced the fuse. And uh, that was pretty much the reason why it wasn't starting. And uh, they also replaced, <clears throat> Tim, you right? Mm -hmm. They also replaced uh, that parking brake sensor. Because uh, sometimes, you know, we would get in there and not realize the parking brake was on and pull off and the parking brake would be on. Because it's supposed to have a sensor that, you know, goes off and makes that noise that y'all heard when the parking brake is on once you put it in gear. So they replaced those things and uh, got it back to us, you know, two months later. <laughs> it was on the farm, broke down for two months, and then it was at the repair shop for two months. So four months, we hadn't been able to drive this side by side. And uh, this is a, a, a essential part, you know, a key part to the farm. And our system and so we've been just kind of like using the tractor for all the systems that we do with water and all those type of different things but we're glad to have a side by side back can't wait to get it out on the woodlands on the trails and uh do some firewood this year and uh, it's amazing i love it i love it you got anything to add no that you did did a great wonderful I'm glad. well all right y'all well i guess that's it so i guess we'll see y'all on the next one it's ig farm <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next one